morning and welcome to the amuckarts.com video blog for the morning. I just wanted to share with you today a little story that I think might make some sense. I go to a lot of bookstores and uh, one of the things that I've been noticing over the uh, over the course of the last few months, probably close to the last year, is the prevalence of these three books everywhere I go. It's The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, The Girl Who Played with Fire, and The Girl with the uh, That Kicked the Hornet's Nest. And they're all written by a guy named Stig Larson, and uh, as I saw them, I, I, I noticed everywhere I go, maybe it's because the covers are striking or whatever, I don't know, but I notice them everywhere I go. I know they're bestsellers, and I, I started thinking, man, this guy is having a great year. He's selling a lot of books. This is really going well for him. And it was just yesterday morning, I was reading per, the Parade magazine out of the newspaper, and, and I happened to notice uh, his name as one of the uh, more intriguing people for the year. And as I read the story, I saw something tragic. Stig Larson died in 2004. Now, I know nothing about the books, so I'm not endorsing them here, and I know nothing about the man, but it's not really about him. I want this to be about the way that we look at the things that we do with our lives. Because in all the things we do, there is good news and there is bad news. The good news is, one day you're going to leave it all behind. And the bad news is, one day you're going to leave it all behind. I mean, think about it. The good news is the stuff that we're doing right now is going to be left behind. It's going to continue to exist after we leave this place. It can continue to do great things after we're gone. The bad news is we have to watch how we invest our lives because one day all this stuff that we've created is going to be meaningless to us. You know, it's great that he's selling all these books now, but it's not really benefiting him at all as far as him personally. And guys, the way we invest our lives matters. I think of these two stories in the Bible, and, and I think of them, and I see them as exact polar opposites, and they're both things that happen with Jesus. The first one is an example of the positive. A person who gave great things and did great things for the Lord. One great thing. And Jesus said it would always be remembered. Listen to this. It's from Matthew 26, verse 6. While Jesus was in Bethany in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste, they asked. This perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. This, the poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. I tell you, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. See, there is an example. She had this jar of very valuable perfume. It's said that the jar was at worth probably at least a year's wages. And she took it and sacrificed it, gave it to the master. And people still talk about that great, beautiful act of unselfishness today. But now compare that with this story. Luke 12, 16, and he told them this parable. The ground of a certain rich man yielded an abundant harvest. He thought to himself, what shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Then he said, this is what I'll do. I will tear down my barns and build bigger ones, and there I will store my surplus grain. I will say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, this very night your life will be demanded from you. Then who will get what you have prepared for yourself? This is how it will be with whoever stores up things for themselves but is not rich toward God. Think about those two stories. On one hand, you have someone who left it behind and is still remembered for an amazing act of generosity. On the other hand, you have a person who left it behind and is considered a fool. One day, guys, you're going to leave what you do behind. How will you be remembered? How will what you have done be seen? You don't really have a lot of control over that. 
All you really have control over is the motivations of your hearts and the actions of your hands. What will you do? Will it be good news or bad news? Will what you leave behind be seen as a wonderful memory or a tragic loss? Today, invest your life in the things that will matter forever. God bless.